Hello, Ty Engmeyer here. I'm going to talk to you uh, a little bit about why you need representation when purchasing a home through a builder. So the biggest reason to, uh, to have representation when uh, purchasing a home is to make sure that you have an advocate for your best interest within the, the transaction. When you walk into a home builder's office um, or model home, whatever it is, and uh, start looking around, uh, that salesperson is there to do one thing, to sell you the home, uh, to get you to purchase it. So you need to have somebody working for you that's, that has your best interest at heart because that's definitely not something that, uh, that that sales agent has. Is they, they're working for the seller. They have the seller's best interest in mind. Um, so a few examples of this throughout the years that I've, I've come across is you've got, um, you've got builder contracts that are very geared towards the builder. They give um, the builder all kinds of, uh, of protections and they provide very few protections for the buyer. Uh, that's where a lot of my experience comes in with just uh, contract review uh, informing you what your exact risks are within the transaction. Um, a, a builder's agent is not going to inform you of all the risks. A builder's agent, again, has a builder's builder's uh, builder's mindset or the builder's interests uh, in mind. So the uh, the other thing is uh, the when going around to a lot of these communities, they have metropolitan improvement districts, which is something that. Uh, most of the agents don't actually inform you of. They don't let you know that uh, these metropolitan improvement districts exist, or if they do, they'll tell you that all oh, the taxes are real low, that kind of thing. One thing I do whenever I'm working with somebody who's looking at new construction is I actually pull what the mill levy uh, is on that particular parcel, or what kind of mill levies are being collected from uh, the tax base, or what, what the taxes that are actually being collected are. Um, those mill levies will give me somewhat of a, an estimation based on the home's value or the, the finished home's value of what the taxes are really going to end up costing you as the purchaser. Um, when you're signing a contract with a builder and you're there without representation, that's not an answer that you're going to easily get from the builder. Um, a lot of times it'll be a general answer. and it won't be that accurate and you won't find out what those taxes are really going to cost you until after you've purchased the property those metropolitan improvement districts that i spoke of before are it's a basically it's a way for a builder to roll in the costs um, of the development or pass that that cost along to uh, the people who pay taxes on those lots uh, so they get away from having to foot a lot of the bill up front because they, they take loans for that money uh, that it costs to do that development. And then those loans are paid back over time by the taxpayer. So it's a big deal. It's becoming more and more of an issue, more and more of a problem as, uh, as the front range gets developed. So that's a, a big thing. The best example of this I have um, was working with Journey Homes up in uh, northeast Colorado. Um, and the buyer uh, was that I was working with or representing was uh, was ready to purchase a property. Um, we we did the research and found out that the that there was a metropolitan improvement district that actually existed um, that the the builder had no knowledge of. The builder had no clue that it was there, that it was even in existence, um, and couldn't tell us anything about it uh, because the builder had actually purchased those lots um, from a bank. And so they, did, they weren't the developer of, of that particular ground, so they didn't know that the Metropolitan Improvement District existed. That MID, or Metropolitan Improvement District, um, ended up... Uh, charging or costing um, the buyer an additional 50% um, on their tax bill. So their tax bill would have been a thousand dollars, ended up being fifteen hundred dollars. So it's very important that you know what you're getting yourself into. That's what I specialize in doing is is knowing what you get yourself into. So um, give me a call if you're looking at any new builds. I'd be happy to uh, point you in the direction of anything that's around. Also you can check out on my website uh, I've got a FISBO and new build feed on there. Uh, anytime when you know it's a pretty good resource for determining all the different little builders that are around. Anytime I see one, I stick it up there. So 
take a look at that. If you have questions, give me a call. And uh, yeah, I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.